Today I'm going to build this building by Pico of Germany and discuss some of my tips and tricks I did along the way and give it a general review. I've built lots of N-scale buildings, as in on this little layout that's stored away. I've also done my share of double O gauge, but I have never built anything this big. Aha! I mean, the kit is so big it's got a handle. Okay, that's heavier than I expected. Well, it's somewhat substantial. That's a box full of stuff. Um, this is the size of the roof, one half of the roof. And over here, it's uh, very full of stuff too, including the glass windows. Stickers. Cool. The parts are thick, heavy, and I find them very substantial. And there's a little tiny hints of weathering already on it. It even came with glue. For the major components, I'm using Gorilla Glue. Uh, which sets within 15 to 45 seconds. And for the windows, I'm using the glue that came with the kit because sometimes when you use super glue or CA glue with clear parts, it frosts around the edges. I just use a file there to, you know, get rid of the burrs. Uh, in the picture, this door is here and these doors are in the back, um, but that's not how I'm building it. This door goes up and down Curious thing is though, because there's risers, so you have these different levels you can put it. So you can have it so that the door is down on the ground or one or two levels up, um, but there's no floor. So when you open this, yeah, it's a rolling door. And when you open it, you notice there's no floor in there. I'm going with my own pattern for what the dock should look like. These square holes are meant for, you know, the ends of these to go down into in the original plan, but the gaps here are perfect because I can still use them. So I love how I can just sort of modularly put this together any old way I want. Also, I'm not going to put the little cross members in between everywhere. I'm just going to leave it like this. Some filing work and whatnot to get these pieces to fit. So there you have it. So this is the picture on the box and the loading dock and whatnot, as you can see, is brown. Whereas in the kit, it's not. I'm gonna keep it gray, I think. The box doesn't give you the impression of how much you get of this stuff. I really actually think it's a lovely kit. Last problem to solve is putting a floor in here. Well, it's gonna be easy. I keep scraps of everything. This is slightly too big, of course, but what I'll do is I'll cut it. It turns out the kit comes with a pile of extra of these. If I glue them like this, two on top of each other, and then put those as posts under here, it's actually exactly, it puts the wood at the right height for the floor. So I'll cut this out. I'm gonna use bits of the kit here. I'm gonna put, you know, four of them underneath that. And the floor is not gonna be physically attached to here. It's just gonna float in there. Uh, and that's good for maintenance or if I wanna add lights later and stuff. Because the edge is slightly slope, I did them opposite each other like this. So they stand up straight. Nobody will ever see these. They'll be underneath the floor. Easy peasy. The wooden floor looks amazing in there. My chosen layout for the dock looks good. Trucks can come this way or that way. Just love that floor. I have to say it was a fun build. The loading dock is the perfect height. All of my rail cars, the bottoms of the door and the rail car is level with the loading dock. Nice. It's definitely the centerpiece of this little switching layout. Final thoughts. These things are expensive. The plastic is heavy and it's meant to be outdoors for long, long periods of time. It's designed to withstand the sun and UV rays and all that. But still, these buildings are expensive. Now imagine, though, that the company that makes these has to, you know, come up with the molds and do all that work and the marketing and the packaging and the shipping them around. There's not like 10,000 people a month buying these. So we don't have that economy of scale. I was surprised by the quality, I have to say. Uh, the building is weighty and heavy. It all came together really well. The only thing is I wish that Pico had added a floor or at least a piece for a floor or that option. But, you know, if you've got scraps lying around or if you're creative or if you have a sheet of styrene or anything, no problem. Build your own floor. Anyway, all in all, this, uh, this is a wonderful kit. I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.